What's up, everybody? This is Ted, and this is another Nerd Nonsense. Happy 2020 to everybody. Hope you guys had a good holiday season and everything. If you hear us say this again, I recorded this pre-2020, so yeah, anyways. Back to what I was talking about. So, I wanted to talk about Star Wars. Yep, my favorite topic, because you know how much I love this movie, Rise of Skywalker, am I right? But anyways, what I want to talk about is in today's present day when <laughs> is that um disney's going around trying to do a lot of a lot of uh, cleanup work because of the backlash of rise of skywalker by the way this will have a lot of spoilers in it good thing i said it before i started saying the spoilers 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 if you haven't seen rise of skywalker go watch it. it's a pretty okay movie um don't watch the last jedi but go watch rise of skywalker but anyways so five four three two one all right spoilers so Disney's going around trying to sweep under the rug a lot of stuff that's happening. A lot of people are upset. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, Palpatine. There's no way Palpatine was, like, the final the final boss. You know, a lot of people have theorized that it was supposed to be Snoke slash and or Kylo Ren. But after the, the Last Jedi, you know, what Ryan Johnson did, um, a lot of stuff was... You know, taken away from that. So when J.J. Abrams took The Rise of Skywalker, you could tell there was a lot of band-aids and sewing into and stitching in, like, apologies and stuff. Like, for instance, in The Last Jedi, Luke's character was kind of destroyed. You know, they made him look like he was just a crazy old man who didn't want to do anything anymore because, you know, he couldn't stop his nephew from becoming the dark side or whatever, you know. But, and then in Rise of Skywalker... Um, he came back and apologized for what he did because he said he was scared, but, you know, it was like, that that scene could have been completely different in in hindsight. But, but yeah, so first thing is, is Kath, Kathleen Kennedy, whoever runs Lucasfilm, bro, I hate this lady, um, she came out and said, like, yeah, um, Palpatine was the guy from the very beginning when we planned this storyboard, we were like, Palpatine is coming back. They said that, and I really don't think that is the case. Um, for instance, um, there are some things that kind of point to it, but it's very, very, very small. Like, I think it's only one thing that I've seen. I had to go back and rewatch the movies to understand this. So, um, I think it's... Bro, I just said that, and I forgot what movie it's from. <laughs> Whatever movie, Kylo is talking to... Or, yeah, talking to the helmet of Darth Vader. And then also you have Snoke as well, who's talking to him. But, um, with him talking to Darth Vader's helmet, it also points to that, you know, Palpatine was talking to him, because in The Rise of Skywalker, in the very first ten seconds, he says, I'm every voice you ever heard in your head, and you heard Vader's voice, so that could have been pointing to it. But it was never really talked to, I mean, if you never see, if you haven't seen Rise of Skywalker, and you watched the first two movies, you could have been like, alright, maybe it's just the dark side, you know? The, like, I always bring it up that we have seen that the Force is alive, in um, the Clone Wars, that is canon, the uh, animated series, because Yoda goes there, and he talks to um, the Force, these Force people. I don't really remember what exactly what their names were, if they had names, but it's on this planet. So the Force is alive, so I wouldn't, like, say that the dark side isn't alive, I guess. So it could have just been, you know, because, like, Anakin was the same way. Like, he'll just have these visions and stuff that will lead him to the dark side. And everyone's like, hey, don't believe in those. You know, it's crazy. Dark side. But, you know, Manic is like, I need him. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff pointing to that. But that's the only thing I get. I feel like if Palpatine was going to be the main bad guy, even if they gave creative control to Ryan Johnson and, you know what's crazy? They gave creative control to Ryan Johnson to direct this thing, right? And to write whatever. They told him that you can't kill Rey and you can't kill Kylo. Everything else is free game. You would have felt like they would have told him, you can't kill Rey, you can't kill Kylo, and somehow tie in that the Palpatine is going to be in the last movie. You would have thought that he, they would have told him that, but I don't, I don't know if they didn't. I still, like I tell Josh Emanuel, I can't wait till like, I don't know, another forever years or anything where they come back and say I need to see like bonus features from like I because I feel like if they would have showed it in like the Force Awakens or anything ooh, excuse me if they would have showed it in Force Awakens they it would have been spoilers. But I want to see some kind of like anniversary thing where they come out with bonus features of them in Force Awakens or like in that time 
whenever that came out, of them storyboarding it, and then it actually shows Palpatine on the board, you know what I mean, like, they're like, alright, he's right here, this is what, you know, because until then, it just sounds like they just pulled it out their ass, like, honestly, they're like, alright, fuck, um, they killed Snoke, Kylo's over here throwing a huge hissy fit, yeah, he's, I don't know, just, um, Palpatine, that's the only bad guy that I remember that's bad, but, yeah, because I really want to see if that was, uh, like, because, like, any, anyone could say that, you know, I was like, oh, I planned this video to get 100,000 views, and it fucking does, like, dude, you're just saying shit out your ass, like, oh, I, Palpatine was going to be the bad guy in the very last film, but there's no really proof of it, other than keeping it hush-hush, you know, I mean, they could have been keeping it hush-hush, but I don't really believe it, so, other than that, like, uh, talking to the helmet, I don't see any other thing, they could have it did some more hints. It didn't help that one of the big hints, because the whole Fortnite thing, they really didn't need to show off the um, pel um, the Emperor's voice being heard through everybody. They really didn't need to. I felt like they were like, let's just go even further. Or Fortnite's like, we'll pay you even more money to give us more exclusive scenes because there was a little a little skit where J.J. Abrams was there and you could vote for what scene you wanted to see. Uh, from the streamer I watched, they voted to see a Jedi mind trick, so they showed the Jedi mind trick, and then they left, and then the fleet came in the fuck, in freaking, you know, Emperor started talking, this is the revenge, and then that's what, exactly what you see on the scroll. I feel like if they put that at the end, even, even if how bad The Last Jedi is to me, and that's my opinion, if, if they just put that last part in The Last Jedi somewhere, end credit scene, Marvel, you know, whatever, <laughs> he's just, or something, then I would have been like, oh, okay, and then all this time waiting, I'm like, all right, I can get ready for it, and then when Sidious's laugh on the trailer was there, I'm like, oh, okay, there he is, you know what I mean, or something, or like, maybe him being able to talk through, like, Snoke after he was killed by Kylo, or something, I don't know, bro, because, like, it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't feel like it, and, and I know they're going with, uh, oh, if the company says it is, or says it, then it's real. So if Disney's coming to say, oh yeah, Palpatine's the last one, there could be no theories, there could be no nothing, like, this whole video doesn't even matter, if you think about it, since they have even said that, they, it, it, that it was, like, the guy. But, I don't feel like it is, and I feel like they're just trying to do it to calm down people, because, like, you know, go watch the film, dude, like, this was planned. Then I can show you an example of how it does make sense, where, um, going back and watching the other two movies, and then seeing something come out of it in the third one is the fact that um when ray touched uh, anakin's lightsaber or luke's lightsaber whoever is it's the same person i mean it's the same owners and then she has this vision of the death star and she hears darth vader and then she hears obi-wan and she hears yoda or she hears all those people and then that gets paid off and the rise of skywalker when she's trying to talk to everybody and then everyone's talking to her that's a good payoff because you see it you know what i mean you see it happen but just guessing that like, oh you know he's talking to his helmet i mean he could be freaking crazy he can be just influenced by the dark side you know it's just like that was shown like if it actually showed that, that exactly if they actually showed like in episode of whatever in the last jedi or in rise or, or in force awakens if they showed like the whole thing where he touched Vader's helmet and then he had like the vision of Vader and Vader standing next to the Emperor and the Emperor talking and then like showing them blowing up Alderaan or showing them, you know, or showing Vader kill all the people in the, in the, um, in episode four or like just like the scene from, um, Rogue One. If they would have showed all that and then people talk like Darth Maul's voice here, you know, if they just did the same exact thing but for Kylo. It probably would have made more sense, like, just have the ch Emperor talk to him through, th like, that. Because they did it for Rey, but they didn't do it for Kylo. Like, they just had him staring at his helmet. Yes. I will do it. Yes. And wh whatever he did, like, I briefly, like, I said I watched the movies, but I'm, like, doing this on the fly, so I can't really remember. But, yeah, but they should have just did it. And then when they if showed Palpatine come back, then it would have been like, oh, okay, yeah, they, they showed that, him talking to Palpatine, so if he's talking to Palpatine, is he the Force, is he like a Sith ghost or whatever, or is he actually alive, just like, you know, because like everyone else they showed Rey talking to is, is, is dead, like they heard, well, yeah, they heard Obi-Wan talking, dead, they heard Yoda talking, dead, like we've seen them die, but, oh, I guess they counteracted, because then we've seen it, well, we didn't, 
I don't know, because that theory of, you know, when Palpatine was, the Emperor was thrown into the thing, and that little mist was his essence, I guess, I don't know, but I feel like if they just played it a little bit better, better writing, I guess, I don't know, I'm not a writer myself, so I can't just say that, like, I'm the fucking best writer in the world, because I'm not, I'm just saying that a lot of this sweeping under the rug doesn't make sense when you have two movies out there that counteracts what you're saying, <laughs> going off from that topic, though, a lot of people are upset because it feels like Anakin sacrificed a like to throw the emperor off was in vain since he actually came back and they actually had disney had she had to come forth and like say what balance to the force was like it like i like no one knew what it meant like i understand like some people don't understand it i always knew that you know a balance of the force was basically in my words is that both sides have to be equal not one side can be stronger than the other you know because it had to be balanced like you know so Disney had to come out again and be like, alright, so, so this is what balance with the force means, you know, not one person. Basically what I said, even Qui-Gon said it, like, they had to even go back and tell, like, what the, the chosen one, the, um, theory, chosen one prophecy was with Anakin and everything. And I believe it. And you know what, after watching all the films again, uh, bringing balance to the force actually goes a step further with me. Because I, you know, alright. I, I'm a Star Wars fan because sometimes some things just go over my head, right? So when I before I did this video and before I went to watch The Rise of Skywalker, after I watched the um, Revenge of the Sith a, a third time, like present day, I actually seen that you know okay so there obviously there was I think there was a Sidious and Dooku. I, I don't know if you want to count. I don't think you'll count Grievous. So I'm not gonna count it. But so there was um, Sidious. And then there was Dooku. Anakin killed Dooku, so there was one Sith Lord. And there was a whole Jedi Order. And then he persuaded Anakin to come to the dark side. So Anakin had to go kill all those other people and everything. They had to kill... They had Order 66 to kill all the other Jedi. And then they finally brought it down to... To, um... Wow, I just drew a blank. Obi-Wan and Yoda, and then Sidious and Vader. So that did sort of bring balance to the Force. <laughs> and the destruction of the Sith came later when in uh, the Return of the Jedi. So I thought that I didn't... Like, if you guys... You can laugh all you want, but I, that kind of just hit me <laughs> pre-present day. I was like, oh, dude, he did bring balance. He just killed all the Jedi and made it two and two. But anyways, so Disney had to come back and explain what the balance of the Force was. And they're using what, what um, George Lucas had imagined for the balance of the force because they use the exact same quote as him so they came in they had to explain to everybody yes this is the balance of the force did anakin bring balance to the force yes for the time being it's always going to be a time being because you got to understand that the dark side and the light side of force never dies so there's always going to be like the the light in the darkness scenario is always going to be there so you can't really just say he didn't bring balance to the force because i i mean as much as i love like Anakin and everything he did and it wasn't in vain because he did what he had to do and even in the rise of Skywalker he and when Ray he heard he heard uh, Anakin's when Ray heard Anakin's voice he said bring balance to the force like I did so you know he did bring balance to the force for the time being because you know Disney's like yes for the time being he made a he brought balance to the force for money but later he's going to bring us even more money because it's all about the money. You know, for the time being, you know, this is never going to end. We're going to ride this out. We're going to get more money for now, later. So, yes. So, yes, Anakin's sacrifice was not in... No, no, Anakin's sacrifice wasn't in vain. He did what he had to do. You know, it's just... That's how the Force works. But what's crazy to me is that they had to go back and tell you the prophecy of the Chosen One. They had to talk to you about Anakin's sacrifice. They had to talk to you about all this stuff but he was not in the rise of skywalker whatsoever i feel like there's plenty of parts and you know what that's not completely jj abrams fault he did his best with what he had you know but i feel like there had to be at least you know a force ghost of him talking to ray you know or something or just there's a, there's a lot of opportunities for it that was just brushed over by new characters if they just do all the new characters out and it puts. I'm pretty sure he would have been in there. Maybe he didn't want to do it. I don't know. I haven't really heard him say anything. But, but yeah, dude. Like, I feel like they had to go back and and like explain a lot of Anakin stuff. But Anakin wasn't in the movie. If only they put him in the movie. I feel like if they put him in the movie and had him explain these things, like, oh yeah, dude. Like, yeah, I I had to kill myself. I killed myself balancing the Force. You know, 
or something. Yeah, and then, then like maybe, maybe yeah, and maybe that whole thing without the awkward kiss would Ben, like you know, sacrificing himself to bring balance again by bringing Ray back. Cause you know, as much as everyone calls her Mary Sue, like Ray has to be alive. You know what I'm saying? Like she has to. I mean, does she have to? I don't know, but I feel like for the movie she has to. So maybe if he had that talk with, well, then that would have kind of undo the him talking with his dad. But yeah, I don't know. But if Anakin, if the light side of the force, because I talked to Josh about this, I feel like if Anakin Skywalker talked to Ben and be like, dude, like I don't know why he works me. I made a lot of bad choices. Because I mean, they could have easily swapped it. Because we already knew that he was still struggling over him killing his dad. But if maybe Anakin came and was just like, hey, dude, like, I understand what you're going through. Like, I had to go through things. I had to watch someone I love die, which is his mom and Padme, maybe. He was like, I understand. But what you're doing for the for power is not going to not gonna do it for you. And he explained, like, what he did for what he did for Palpatine, who he's trying to get with, with what Kylo's trying to get with. You know, if he just talked to him like that and then told him, like, yeah, I had to sacrifice myself for to balance the Force and whatnot. And then, like, him actually sacrificing himself by giving his life energy to Rey probably would have made a little bit more sense of him just killing himself and then him disappearing. And then that would have what would have made me believe, sorry if I'm getting loud, and it would have made me believe that he became a Force ghost because he knew he had to do what he had to do no matter giving up his life and after everything to become a force ghost like i don't know what you have to do to become a force ghost but i feel like that would have made me believe him become a force ghost because his body disappeared so that means he's one with the force but anyways that's everything that i wanted to talk about disney's just trying to sweep under under the rug where there's a lot of stuff they're trying to sweep all this stuff under the rug try to put band-aids on it you know i just wanted to make sense of it you know plug to our channel and what my thoughts were on about it i mean I mean, Josh can do one too if he wants, or Manuel. I think me and Manuel on the same wavelength. I don't know with this stuff. But Manuel's very smart as me. I will say it to the end of the world. Manuel's the smartest guy I know. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope this made sense about what Disney's trying to do. I think it's kind of funny. You know, they're trying to put band aids on it. But thanks for watching, guys. Tell me what your favorite part of The Rise of Skywalker was. Tell me if you think that. If you tell me if you truly believe Palpatine was the beginning, was the was the final boss from the very beginning. Let me know. Um, I'll talk to you guys later, and goodbye.